Can I go back? Oh! That's weird. That is really weird. Alright, so there we go. Oh, look at that, right here, right from the get-go. Mid-Island Hospital. Attention, all employees! Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we are unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance non staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch located or location within the records room stacks management. All right. Here's another note. All employees, we understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We've caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on the crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Who the hell just climbs on fucking boxes? Actually, I would. That sounds pretty fun. So... This does not seem to be working yet. A switch? Alright, fuck it! Let's go! We're not doing it anymore. <gasps> what the fuck? Don't do that. Uh, May 1st, 1940, concerning Miss Daniel's suicide. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from a rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniel's body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. What, a lot of suicides in this building? Oh my god. What is that scary list, miss? So this is why you don't want to fucking cloud the boxes, I guess, here, right? Ghosts from the past, November 12th, 1967. Oh, this is from a... Yeah, this is from a newspaper. Mid-Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit from wait benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Smallpox... So do I... Yeah, I, I find, like, finding these without, like, without the green is a lot easier on the eyes. Kipling citizens accused crimes. 16-year-old girl allowed to live, admits guilt, is condemned to hang, evil, hospital open to deal, spread a disease. Dude, you need to learn how to write! Wait, was that something? <gasps> oh, what the fuck? March 3rd, 1938, concerning patient 90D. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Mor Moriarty, all I can think about is Sherlock, noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. Patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. What ails you, Sarah? What ails Perhaps you? Perhaps truth. Barely pure. Never simple. March 27th, 1931. Man, there's lots of fucking reading this. Concerning pa 90... Wait, patient 90D. Psychiatric ward report. Patients have... Been, wait, have taken their pills and are settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high-strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. 
Could you imagine just get like fucking blood? Wait, you can climb. Figured. Wait. Figured there's something here just because I've never seen. Okay. Let's climb this. We got this. I like how the glow stick just disappears. That's okay. So is this what we want to do? Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah, no! Where do I go? Do I gotta go back to... Wait, I don't think I can. Can I? Ah, uh, I see. Wait, do I see? Yeah, I see. Do I see? Oh, come on. Oh, I gotta push it up against this right here. There you go. Get on up. But the note said not to climb this. It's not gym equipment. Fuck the meat. Fuck. Fuck them, man. They can't tell us what to do. I don't work here. I don't even know why I'm here. Wait, do I gotta jump down? Is that gonna hurt? Yep, I gotta jump down. I like how there's like no thud whatsoever. Okay. Oh, we're right at the beginning here, so this should work, right? Ah, there we go. Saving content. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for stuff here. Ah, wait, did I miss some? Let me, let me just go back just, just to make sure. No, okay. Maybe I should have gotten more glow sticks. Oh, that must be like during like the smallpox era time, right? Back in the good old smallpox days. Okay, where do I go? Left or straight? We're gonna go left. Oh, back, back to searching for pages. That's okay. Oh, come on, glow stick. Why you do this? What's that? I don't know. Let's go investigate. Oh, there's, there's one right there. See, I thought last time when I was sticking on the wall, I thought it was like an emergency button, so I didn't even come up to it. August 13th, 1924, concerning patient 60E. Staff responded to screams coming from patient 60E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over, and patient was slashing herself repeatedly with a scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While there was a lot of blood, none of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts, as if she was not really trying to hurt herself, just making a giant mess. Patient 60E has been... Remanded to solitary confinement as a danger to herself and others. Dr. Mercer has also now directly taken her on as a patient. Hopefully he will be able to cure her of her inner demons. Alright. Cool beans, brother. Fuck you, brain! Uh... Stop walking upstairs. Alright, so I guess that's all for this hallway. I guess now we can take a left up here. Oh, look, there's one right there. September 9th, 1937, concerning, concerning patient 27C. Patient inexplicably died overnight. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for electroshock therapy. Body was transported to the morgue. Cremation schedule for this evening. No kin to notify. What a way to go. Wait, what does that say? Wait, is there, is there anything else that I'm missing here? Oh, you can't move up, can you? Okay. But there's just a bunch of boxes. Is there really nothing else over here? There must be something that I'm missing. Oh, 
Oh, right here. I'm an idiot. Kind of. A lot. Yeah. Anybody there? Ah, the stuffed bear, whom the patriot refers to as her beloved, has been placed in quarantine. Why? It's a fucking bear. The doctor recommends incineration as it's come in contact with a girl and might carry the disease. Ah, oh, that's why. None of us had the heart to burn the stuffed animal, though I guess Miss Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, that's not cool. Fucking read a note and I get jars thrown on my face? That's not fucking cool. Oh, there's a glow stick in there. Alright, let's just go straight for now. Adam, I think I saw the thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me, and then disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right there. I'm putting in a transfer request. George. Okay, so we is just there need- anybody in there? I don't think anyone's here! I don't know why I'm fucking talking to myself! What the fuck is that? No. Oh, you cocksucker! No! 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 How the fuck? Screw it! Wait, where the hell did it go? Do I have flares? Oh, I have fucking flares! I don't have any flares anymore, son of a bitch! Oh, that's not cool. Oh, yeah, this place is not creepy at all. I, I, I think I threw the flare out. I don't know what happened. Too hot? Threw it on the ground? Looks like there'd be, like, a note there, right? Oh, God, I'm so afraid something's gonna pop up from these fucking goddamn beds. Woo, you motherfucker! No! Stop! No, I don't have a flare! I don't have a flare! Stop! Oh, you... Anybody there? I don't have a flare! I don't have a flare! Don't eat me! Oh, God. I need a fucking flare bad, don't I? This is not cool. This is not cool. Oh, God. Please find a flare soon. Guys, type in flare! Give me a flare! I don't think that's how it works. Oh god. Is that a note? No, that's a fucking fire extinguisher. I don't need that. I wish I could use it to like bash that fucking thing in the face. Stop, you drawer! Oh, what the fuck? I don't like this. Okay, relax. I gotta relax. Things were going good until I saw that spooky thing. Just chill. Is this it? The citizens of their new Kipling begun performing spirit cleansing wait spirit cleansing rituals on the nearby mid island in order to keep their town pure from the dark time little factual evidence has been discovered about the nature of these rituals but after the cleansing took place new kipling announced that the city has been reborn all right oh my god my fucking nose is so itchy god that was net yes what does that mean all right, patient 27C, this is in September 8th, 1937. Patient is physically healthy, but deteriorating mentally. He remains in, a, in his straitjacket under constant observation. Patient continually yells that the maze is never ending. Screams continue throughout all hours of day and night, ranging from low monotone chants to fevered high-pitched howls. Electroshock therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow morning. Oh my God, it is so hot in my room. Oh, open that door. Okay, so now I need to find need the play the key. I know. But I have no idea where that is. You hair. Okay, let's take a look at our map here. Did I miss out anywhere? <gasps> Please no. Wait, is this another note? The village of New Kipling traces its route to the mid-1600s. The rich fishing source, along with easy access to trade routes, drew early settlers to the village. Hey. That's cool and all, but I'd like to key. Key, please. Teddy bear! Where are you? It's 
That's not a that's not a key, that's a scream. That's not either. Oh god. Ah, I didn't come down here, did I? I didn't. Don't you dare be over there. Okay. Key! Where are thee? Oh, what am I doing? Seriously, where the fuck is the key? The other one was... The other one was, like, really fucking noticeable. Oh, God. Key! Where? I guess I didn't check over here. Where's the key? I got the six remnants. I don't have a flare. Shut up. You're not real. See, there's something right here, right? Yeah, but this just comes to an end. Where's the key room? I have a feeling like the commands are starting to work more because I'm starting to hear a lot more noises and it's really fucking terrifying. Dude, there's nothing over here. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Patient reported seeing shadowy figure in his room at night. Steph has been advised to indulge patient in his delusions in order to avoid the aggressive behavior observed in patient 15. Patient remains in his room under mild observation. Okay, going straight. That's where the door is locked. I know there's somebody here. Why can't you say here properly? No, that's just the book. I guess I didn't check in here, did I? Cool, a phone! <gasps> oh, you son of a bitch! Is there really nothing? I've literally checked everywhere! Alright, glow stick time. Let's do this. I have a feeling that I'm definitely missing out on something. I mean, I, de I mean, it's obvious I am. Like, is it in here? Oh, motherfucker, those footsteps. Hello? Oh, it looks like it's in here. What the hell? Wait, skizzers this time. They moved the afflicted to this place where you stand. They thought it would protect and leave them to grow. Then came corruption, persecution, and chaos. Oh, man. Don't like what this is. Open, please. I know somebody's here. There we go. 